This is Laura Lee in the Lou. Welcome to Floss Tube number 11. And um, as I always say, I am a monogamous cross stitcher. I got my little Santa Claus bag. I really like that. And I pretty much, I started a new project. Oops, I have to take out the pattern. I started a new project and I've been working on this all week long. Besides sewing and other kind of stuff. It's a Dimensions Santa Stamp Gold Collection. And I don't think I'm going to put the stamp part. I think I'm just going to put the Santa Claus. Because I don't know if I like the idea of a postage stamp. But the one thing that I did is, um, of course, you know me, I dyed some fabric. I dyed it, and it was really, really bright. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. Bright pink, bright blue. So then I washed it. Well, rinsed it. And there's the Dudley. Hey, say hi, Dudley. I'll, show, I'll try to insert a picture later. I, My mother collected monkeys. And cleaning out this room, I had some big monkeys. And I thought, you know, how long am I really going to keep those? Let's try to get some better light in here. Um, so I gave him a big monkey. <laughs> And he carry been carrying it around everywhere he goes. It's kind of a bad thing in the long run because now um, every time you're trying to sit somewhere, you shove this huge monkey in your face. But so I've been stitching pretty much on this the middle part. So I'm like stitching right in here, the red part with the um, the double-breasted buttons. I'll put my pattern away and I'll show you. Which is a f so there, you can kind of see his the start of his staff, but um, so I have it blue at the top, going down to a a pinkish. I really kind of plan to have more colors in there, but this is the way I did because that way I'm not going to stitch the background. The background has you stitching some blue and white for clouds and. Thought, nope, I'm not doing it. But that's pretty much all week stitching on that one thing. So, well, maybe I lied. Um, remember the dog I did? I'll show you it. But this is my cat. The cat didn't turn out as cute as the dog. The dog, I'm absolutely in love with this. I put the dog on top. And OMG totally in love with this wooden box i haven't done anything with the inside yet but you can see that i'm using it i have all my threads for hand stitching i have this right by my stitchy spot i love it love it love it now the cat is okay haven't decided what i'm going to do with the cat i might make it into a little I don't know if it's going to be a project bag or some sort of little zippered bag. You know, I love my zippered bag. Speaking of that, we had craft club. Um, I, we might be crooked, but I think it's a little bit late to worry about it. You're just going to look at me crooked. Should I tilt my head this way? Tilt. <laughs> and I'll insert some video. They had a puppet show. We had some gift, rob your neighbor gift exchange, lots of food. So I'll, in, I'll, I'll interject a little bit of... Um, video there they had a the rob your neighbor and i'd ask and they said oh it's like 10 to 15 dollars you know a little like white elephant gift and there was like people give a gift and then with a 25 dollar gift card these big elaborate you know bath sets um bakeware what happened to the 10 11 of course so i did something like this it, it was a little bit nicer than this, and I quilted it, and with a little bit of a gift card. Not a big gift card. This one, I, um, I'm going to attach a little wristlet. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with these things. I love these things. I love sewing them. I love using them. But this, so I sewed one of those. And um, one thing I noticed, and I did the exact same thing, is that the... The gifts that are big and with the gold wrapping and the gold and silver bows, those go first. Mine was in a little gift bag, and it was one of the last ones picked. But the, the person that got it liked it, I think. But um, next time, big gift with gold wrapping. Um, 
So I did some sewing. Oh, let me show you a little haul. I picked this up. I've got a bunch of charts. And I got this at the junk store. Charts and Charms. It is um, Dimensions Southwest Charm. But it was really cheap. It was like a dollar. But I really like all the charms. Eagle. And a buffalo. And feathers. And... Um, arrowheads and a bunny. I don't know that I'll actually do the chart. So if some of the Southwest chart. So if someone's interested in that, let me know. I don't know if I showed you this before. I actually sold this cute little um, carry-all. And I like it because... It come, so I did it in this. I got it off Etsy, the pattern. And so... And I thought it would be more involved and take longer than it did. The zipper is real tight, you know. But you open it up. You fold it down. And it's got this one big long zipper. It has it's two pouches. You unzip the zipper all the way. But it's two separate pouches. So that's cute. And then, um, then you have all these little pockets inside. So it just sits there. It fits um, one of those perfectly, like your pin cushion. That would help weight it down. Put your little scissors and your stuff there. So I, I really enjoyed that. I'm debating about if I should, if these would sell, make them and sell them on Etsy, because it wasn't too bad to do. It's kind of an awkward shape when it's all zipped up. But it's that shape so you could fit. You know, a bunch of stuff in it. So there's that. Oh, I want to show you an old thing I had done. And this was, I had the two big monkeys. You know, monkeys about this big. And I had them up on a shelf. And I thought, I'm trying to organize all my stuff. I need my shelf space. So I gave them a monkey. But one of the monkeys was wearing this owl hat that I had crocheted. So I'm like, so... I don't do too much knit and crocheting. I do some. Oops, it got some fuzz on it. So I thought I would show you that. Another thing, of course, I'm going organizer crazy. I've been, um, it's, um, this ma is made out of a scrub. And the reason it made me think of it, the scrubs, um, the Goodwill on Fridays has 75% off. So you get it like a scrub for a dollar. And they have the snaps already. So I thought, oh, this is pretty material. It would be, I got a, like 10 of them. I got owls and dogs. and But so I made this. But then I didn't like how it didn't close up here. So I put the little dots. But um, I made six plastic little things for the floss. I made a zippered, of course, you know me, I need a zippered pouch. I did two little tabby things for pens and stuff. And then I hung these little um, book binder clips to hang like an extra floss or whatever. And I did this. My mother used to make these little elastic -y bracelets. And I thought, I don't really wear them, but I thought, ooh, that would be cute. I'll make it into a little scissors fob for my little scissors and then I put a piece of felt here for your pins um, two open pockets here I put a pad of paper and then I put a little felt heart here for um, to put more pins and stuff but I thought that would be really cute on Tuesday's craft club um, I think I like this one a lot better than of the other one I've been using, the cactus one that I've shown before. So I'm going to put this in my bag. Then I thought I'll just show you some. Um, I've been quilting for mm, 30 years, a long time. I have quilts everywhere, quilted purses, quilted. But I thought, well, I was pulling some off of the walls, kind of washing them, rearranging them. So I thought I'd show you. This is just a little bow tie quilt with buttons. Just a little, it's called Buttons and Bows, 1995. Isn't that cute? Um, 
this one this is just some sort of star pattern I love the color I love stars they're like my favorite thing to quilt speaking of stars this is a I'm like a Mariner's comp compass a lot of this I did I'll show you some of the back a lot of it I did by hand because trying to get this is before I was foundation piecing but this I haven't decided I think it's just gonna be on a table but I really I did this by hand too because I wanted it to be precise as far as the layout but in this cute the points around the edge I think this is just gonna be like on you know a side table runner I like that I need to get that finished I had started that a while ago this do you do that it's like you have projects and you're like almost done with it hey my dad and you just don't do the finishing this is one of them and I really like this um, it's the flying geese pattern with a geese applique my goal and I did some it's hand quilted so all I need to do on this is a binding you can see on the back it's hand quilted so just do the binding and then it's done so why don't you just get the, with the Canadian geese there why don't you just get the binding done and then you'll be done so maybe that'll be my goal for this week is um, to finish up some of these projects because I really love it my goal is I didn't finish that sentence did you ever do that my goal is to have a like a table runner for every month I have some books that have different table runner designs. I have a Halloween one started. That would be like a fall. Of course, I have a Christmas one. Um, and sorting through all my bins, I found just little, little this, little that. I guess this is going towards a flying geese, going towards some sort of pattern. That were left over um i have this um little rail fence dresden plate that is a lot of work um little log cabin so that'll make a cute little something something won't it then this is just blocks these are all the same um you're probably screaming out i don't know what pattern it is i don't remember that's what all those other extra squares are for to make a table runner with this i could do an applique and some sort of table runner yeah, put those with that. That's what those blocks are for. Because I have other ones. Little dotted. This is a pretty mustard color with the dots. So those are some, some projects I need to work on. This, and I should have drug it out. I'll drag it out. I'll try to remember next time. My mother back... My mother and I, back in the 90s, I would say 90s, oh, he's chewing on a monkey, um, we had done the quilted jackets, the real cute, you make all of these squares, patchwork squares, then you quilt it, and then you, um, make it into a jacket with a zipper it's really cute but you know i'm not wearing them anymore my mother had made several i had made several and i'm really so i have these extra scraps left over for it and i'm really debating about making taking the jackets that i'm not wearing and making them into something i have um oh here's a little as i'm throwing things around here's a little monkey my mother's little monkey that I have on my sewing machine. I knocked it off. 
Uh, my mother died in 2012, but I made little bears, these little sleeping bears that are really cute, little patchwork pillows. So maybe I can make something with that. Um, this was just a random thing I got for like five dollars. I mean five cents, not five dollars. And it's a kitchen towel. And you know how they cut off the top and you make the little, either crochet the little thing or um, sew the little thing to hang over. Do people use those anymore? But you know what? This wouldn't make a bad project bag, even though it's terry material. You would still. Hmm. So ideas on that would be good. I think that's all we have. I'm gonna I'm gonna add a clip um, of the puppet show, and it's just those short little clips, like a minute or two long, and of the food and a few of the ladies at the the craft party. But thanks for watching, Laura Lee and the Lou. So I thought I'd show you some of my mess. I've been trying to organize my sewing area. There's where I have the Cricut. And I bought, and there's a magnetic board. This, like I say, it's very, very messy. This is a rack. I don't know if you can see it. Take this off. Well, it's a rack for dominoes. And I saw somebody have it on their Etsy shop to put your rulers on. So I put this elastic band. This is just attached to a shelf where I have a lot of my stitching, but the rack holds, has little grooves and it holds the, the rulers in place. So I thought, well, one person is going to be without a domino rack, but they can deal, right? This I got off um, Facebook marketplace this week. And I really like it because I had all my ribbons in a, you know, fabric bin, like the fabric bins there. Um, this is my mess. I've been collecting these scissor frogs and like I say, it's a mess and I have to, that's what I've been working on trying to get all this organized, but I really like it because some of these ribbons, I forgot I even have, I have one more bin full of ribbons, but I figure, well, I'll use these first and then we'll move on to those. How you doing? Oh. All of the gifts for the gift exchange. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> the decorations made out of clothes pins. A lot of our goodies. They're not uncovered yet. <laughs> Thank you. No, you're not getting fired. No, no way. I said right arm tired. tired. Oh, your right arm's tired. Okay, let me see. Jamie, who do you have? <laughs> Denise. All right. And Jeffrey, who do you have? I got Randy, dude. Randy. And the troublemaker. And the troublemaker, <laughs> Charlie. 